and I rise in support of Initiative 2113. I rise, though, worried that this isn't enough and disappointed that it's too late. May I read from the Daily Chronicle news article from June 10th of 2022? Please proceed. Shortly after the shooting at approximately 11.52 p.m. on June 8, 2022, an officer with the Centralia Police Department observed the suspect's vehicle speed past him at approximately 65 miles an hour in a 25-mile-an-hour zone, running multiple stop signs, red lights, according to the news release. At the time, the officers did not know about the vehicle's involvement with the shooting, and because reckless driving was the only probable cause the officers had for an arrest, which is not permissible cause for a vehicle pursued under state law, the officers did not pursue. They lost track of the vehicle when it got onto northbound Interstate 5. At approximately 11.54 p.m., dispatch advised Centralia Police of a shooting uh, complaint on the 600 block of West Maple Street, close to the area where the officers encountered the vehicle that fled from them, according to the news release. And this was the second shooting. Why is this important, Mr. Speaker? Because this is not from a constituent in my community. This is my story. The news article goes on, the shooting occurred right outside the home of Peter Abarno, a Republican state lawmaker and Centralia-based attorney. While my kids were asleep, while we were asleep, and a bullet hit my neighbor's porch. This is a serious policy. This is something that is long overdue, Mr. Speaker. I rise in support of this initiative because I'm fearful of what it's done to so many communities, including my own. I had a front row seat for two years watching this policy move through the legislature. And then sadly, I watched this policy arrive at my front porch. Mr. Speaker, this is an important policy to pass. It is long overdue, and I hope it's enough. Vote yes.